In this video, we will demonstrate how you can use Polytomic to sync data from Salesforce to Marketo. Because we've already connected Salesforce and Marketo to Polytomic, our first step is to create our data model. So I will go up here to add model and select our connection, which will be Salesforce, the source of our data. Next, I'm going to name this model contacts. Next, we can build this model using object select, or we can do a custom SQL query if we'd like. I'm going to just use object select. Next, I'm going to select the object, uh, which we can select from a bunch of different objects, but I'm going to use contacts. From here, we can save all of these fields into this data model. But for the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and select only specific fields I'm going to first do the email address, the first name, the last name, and I'll also select the department of the contact. Great. From here, we can also have the option to join this data to other data models we might have previously created, but for now, I'm just going to click Save. And there, I created this data model of data from Salesforce. Next, we're going to set up the sync. So I'll click here to create sync. The destination system, the place where we're going to be sending this data is Marketo. And we're going to be targeting the leads object in Marketo. Next, we can choose our sync mode. We can create records when they don't exist, but don't update existing ones. We can also update existing records only, but don't create new ones. We can also do a combination of the both, update records when they exist and create them when they don't. This is typically what we select. Next, we have to map the fields together and we have to use some sort of identity or key to map the data from Salesforce to Marketo. So I am going to use the email address. Great, and it automatically detects it over there in Marketo. Then we have to map the individual fields to make sure they're going where we expect them to. So I will select first name, Great, it automatically detected it. Last name and department. Perfect. It automatically detected all of those fields uh, directly in Marketo, so we know they're going to the right spot. We can also add in model, model filters if we'd like, so that only data that matches certain criteria gets sent over. We can also set up overrides and preview a sample of the data. But for now, I'm going to just click continue. Finally, we set up our sync schedule, the frequency at which we want these syncs to be done. We can do a manual one-time sync, continuous syncs, hourly, daily, weekly, custom schedule, or sync after type sync models. I'm going to choose continuous and click continue. From here, we see a summary of the sync that we're setting up, all the data fields that are getting mapped over from Salesforce to Marketo. Everything looks good here, so I'm going to click Save. Perfect. The last step is to run a test if you'd like to sync five random records to Marketo to make sure that everything is working correctly. And once everything looks good, you can go ahead and check to enable the sync, and it'll run according to the schedule. And there you have it. With Polytomic, you can easily sync data from Salesforce to Marketo.